keep on doing what you do Just make sure you know it's me So you're going to be the new captain of Tiger Squad, huh? That must mean you're pretty good. Still, it never hurts to go over the basics. Besides, if I know Tiger Squad, you're going to need every trick you've got to make it through this season. But don't worry, we'll take it one step at a time. Let's get started. This is the cheer line. Every routine is made up of cheer move prompts that scroll down the cheer line. For example, this prompt is a clasp cheer move. The red arrow represents the Wii Remote, and the blue arrow is the nunchuck. To execute a cheer move, you need to perform the indicated gesture with your Wii Remote and nunchuck. Look at the waving cheerleader to the left. She will always demonstrate the proper body position to perform each cheer move. And the Wii Remote and nunchuck image in the upper left corner of the screen will help you hold the controllers properly. Performing a gesture isn't enough. You'll need to do it at a specific time during the routine or you won't earn the most routine points and the squad will get out of sync. The best time to perform a gesture is when the cheer move prompt scrolls into the hot spot. Let's try it now. Perfect. During competitions, prompts won't stop in the hot spot. They'll keep moving unless you complete the gesture properly. Every time you complete a gesture, you'll perform a cheer move and increase your routine score. The closer the prompt is to the center of the hot spot when you complete it, the more points you'll earn. If you ever let a prompt scroll past the hot spot, you won't earn any points for it and the squad will get out of sync. Okay, let's try a basic foundation drill. We'll start when you're ready. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. 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 Five, six, seven, eight.